Hey friends, what is up? Good morning. Welcome back to Vlogtober day 18. It is Sunday. We woke up this morning like you guys saw and I don't know what I got. I think I only got footage of me making coffee, but we woke up. Tom and Asha are still here. Um, they slept in a little bit more than us, but we made pancakes and we all ate those together. I had coffee and then we played a few more board games, which we ended up playing the crew again because it's so much fun definitely recommend it and then we also played seven wonders which is just like a a real good one and we ended up getting tom and asha to want to buy like 10 more board games so it's great but it is now sunday and i think today one main thing i need to do is do laundry because like um <laughs> that's my hamper there yeah that's probably a solid like three loads of laundry so i need to do laundry i'm gonna put those away I also want to go over to Sherwin-Williams because Sherwin-Williams actually has a sale going on right now and we are going to pick our final colors for the house. I'm just going to buy them all today because, you know, it'd be easier to get them all on sale and then have them here for when I want to paint. So, very excited. I probably will just get like smaller cans of a few of them just because I'm only painting like one wall. One wall downstairs, one wall up here. Maybe because I'm painting this huge wall, it might take a gallon. Not sure, but we will see what I end up getting. I'm very excited. Um, and yeah, we're gonna pick our final colors, guys, so we can start painting. I'm so excited. Um, I was gonna go through my closet today, but I think I'm gonna do that a little bit later because um, I wanna go do a little bit of like thrift, thrift store shopping. And it is already 12.35 and the thrift store closes at like five. So we'll do that a little bit later this week or possibly next weekend. But anyways, without further ado, let's go do some laundry. Let's say goodbye to Tom and Asha, and then we will go to show the William. I'm ready to go and we are going to head over to Sherwin-Williams. I have all of my paint colors kind of chosen, not like 100%. I'm still gonna look around and see. Let's go to Sherwin-Williams. So excited. So this is probably the weirdest angle that I've ever filmed in, but welcome to my Sherwin-Williams haul. <laughs> I look like such a nerd. I literally look like a handyman right now. A handy woman, let me tell you. Okay, anyways, hello, welcome. We are back from Sherwin-Williams and I ended up only getting two of the four paints that I wanted to. So we ended up getting the bathroom paint and the living room paint, and then I didn't end up getting the front door paint. We are painting our front door black, which I'm very excited about, but he recommends we do it when the weather is a little bit warmer. So if we happen to get a little bit more warm weather here in Canada, um, which I don't think we will, I might try to go grab it, paint it, and that sort of thing but I think it'd probably be best for us just to wait until it gets warmer again, so in spring, which kind of sucks. I wish that I, you know, thought of this earlier and painted my door a little bit earlier when it was still a little bit warm, but that's okay. We can do that later. Um, and then I also didn't get a paint for the front room, the like office room, because I'm still not 100% set on what color I want for there. At first I wanted like a burnt orange color and then I'm like, oh wait, that might be a little bit too much because I'm literally painting a wall like orange, which is a lot. And then I was looking at more of like a caramel color, a little bit more warmer. I want it to be warm toned because a lot of the paint that I'm painting in here is very cool toned. We got sage green, we have teal, just like really cool toned colors. So I'm tempted to go maybe for like a warm tone beigey caramel color but not too dark i don't know we'll see i was also thinking hey let's just go all cool toned and do like a more like grayish color like a gray toned beige color i don't know i just wanted to be like 
masculine enough, but then also not too dark, not too light. I'll just figure that out later. I do have some samples of some colors, so maybe I'll grab those for you guys to show you. I'll actually show you here in like a little overlay clip of all of them. So these are all of like the samples that I'm thinking. Some of them are a little bit darker, some of them are a little bit lighter, some of them are warmer, some of them are cool toned, but we'll figure that out later. But for now, we did get two colors. One being Evergreen Fog, which is going to be for the bathroom. And then we got Cascades for the living room, which I'm so excited. Um, the guy at Sherwin-Williams said that Cascades is a really, really nice color. Um, so we're gonna be painting behind the um, TV in this color. And then we're going to be painting across from the mirror um, in the sage green for the bathroom. And I might actually add some of the sage green somewhere else in the house. I'm not like 100% sure right now but I might try to do some cool multicolored thing in the office. We will see what I end up doing, but I did get a gallon of both of them. Um, the sage green, I could have got away with a like smaller one. I forget what um, size that is, but I could have got away with that just because the wall is a little bit smaller, but um, I might as well just get a gallon. It was on sale. The reason why I got it today was because there's a sale. So I might actually figure out what color I want for the front room and go get it tomorrow before the sale ends, but we'll see. I also got some trays. I also got a bunch of rollers. And then I got a really nice paintbrush, which I've actually only gotten like cheap paintbrushes. This one is the one that they recommend for a lot of their paints. So I ended up getting that and I just need to remember to freaking clean them. So we're gonna make sure we clean them, but I'm gonna get an opener and we can check out the colors. That's the main reason why I have this weird ass angle is so that when I open this, you guys will be able to see the color inside. So let's do it. Yes, I'm using a knife. I do not recommend this. <laughs> Um, but I just am too lazy to go and get my can opener. So this is the Evergreen Fog. And walking into Sherwin-Williams today, I didn't have this color picked out, but I ended up finding it and it is the most gorgeous sage green color. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if it's gonna come off the best, but here she is. Oh yes, baby. Oh my goodness. Love this. I wanted it to be like in the middle of being a cool tone, like tealy green and then like a warm tone, like yellowy green, you know? So very excited about that. I need to go grab my hammer so I can hammer this shut again. But that is evergreen fog for the bathroom. Like I said, we're going to be doing a wall in there. And then this one I'm so stoked about. I got the duration um, one he said was probably the best for in bathrooms. And then opulence is what we have painted most of our walls in here. And it's a really good paint for the price. And like I said, the color of this one is Cascades, which I wanted to either do like a dark, dark teal color or a dark, dark green color. Hello. Someone just went live on Twitch. Um, but I did a bunch of, um, what is it called? Polls on my Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, at Jenna Rose Beasley, I did a bunch of polls and dark teal won immensely over um, the dark green. So we went for dark teal, my friends, and I'm very excited. You guys ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God. It does, um, like looking at it here, it is bright, um, but it does dry darker. I don't know if you guys can see on top there, but holy crap. This is gonna be sick. Oh my goodness. I love that. Um, and this one is going to be the wall that I'm gonna try to do like the geometric thing, which I'm like freaking stoked about. I do need to go and like look up how to do that. Hopefully I can figure it out. I also need to get one of those things that you can like cut 45 degree angles on and that sort of thing. And I also need to get a saw. Maybe we can just borrow a saw from Francis' parents or something, but I'm very excited about these two colors and I'm excited to start painting some of the rooms with you guys. I'll probably do the bathroom um, 
first because that's the easiest and then we'll move into the living room a little bit later. Hopefully I can do both of these by the end of vlogtober. If not, maybe I'll do a whole video on like the living room wall, like the living room transformation um, in like November or something. So yes, anyways, I'm going to go and relax for a bit, finish my laundry, and then we are actually off to a friend's parents' house. We cannot get enough of just like hanging out and playing board games, guys. Like it's been amazing. Like, I love board games so much. So we're going to be going there. We're going to be playing The Crew with them, which is our new, like, favorite thing. And I'm very excited. So I will see you guys there or, you know, when I'm doing something amusing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed my Sherwin-Williams haul. And I'm hoping you guys are excited to start adding some color to the house. Also, a lot of people have asked or said that I should paint our kitchen um, kind of as, like, a placeholder or something before we actually do our full-on kitchen reno which is probably not going to be for another two to three years so I think I'm going to start looking into how to do that we did paint the um little thing in the bathroom gray and that was pretty easy but I feel like this is going to be a little bit more difficult it is going to be pretty easy because it's going to be black that I'm going to be painting it I might actually do the lower cabinets in black and then the upper cabinets in white. I think I'll really like that, but I will look into more like inspiration photos and stuff. Let me know down below what you guys think we should do with the kitchen. Um, I also want to maybe do like the side of the fridge thing here in like a chalkboard paint so we could do like a little chalkboard thing because like this thing faces the dining room. So I think it'd be really cute, but let me know down below what you guys think we should do with the kitchen. And then also let me know what you think of the colors that I chose. We got Cascades, we got Evergreen Fog, both from Sherwin, both from Sherwin Williams. So excited. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Google. <laughs> okay, Google. What are the lyrics to Who Let the Dogs Out? Nico, 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 <laughs> hey guys, good morning. What is up? I actually, this is the first time in this vlogtober that I did this, but I did not end this vlog last night. It is the next day. And last night I was suffering and I'm still suffering with a really, really bad toothache, which Thank God I have a dentist appointment this Wednesday. So I'm gonna figure out what is causing this awful toothache and it like comes and goes. I had it I think sometime last week as well and then it went away and then it came back last night while we were at Francis' parents' house. So yeah, it's not fun and I'm assuming it's just cavities but we'll see what it is. Um, but it like hurts on the top and the bottom of this side of my mouth and it's just not fun and it gives me a headache and yeah so I was just not feeling it with the filming last night I just went right to bed after we got home from Francis' parents house so yes I was like you know what I'm just gonna film it in the morning so hello welcome um, we are now <laughs> filming the outro of this vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, I know I didn't get a ton of like super exciting uh content but i wanted to answer a few different questions um a few people did say that they do have rose gold and black engagement rings so that is awesome and a lot of you said that you liked them the first question is from vanessa and she said do you have any new tattoo plans or maybe a new hair color so for my hair color i do really want to go light again but i don't want to do it as of right now just because i don't want my hair to get damaged again so i might wait 
maybe until the new year when it starts to get warm again and start to maybe go back to the lighter side and like the more silver side which I started doing and then ended up dyeing my hair purple or something I don't know um, but for tattoos I want so many more tattoos guys you have no idea how badly I've been wanting to go get some tattoos if you've been watching my vlogs for a while you know that my sister and I went to a like tattoo convention thing um, I think it was last year or the year before. I think it was around September or something, but that ended up being canceled this year, obviously due to coronavirus and stuff like that. So we weren't able to go to that, but we really wanna go to some more next year. Hopefully if they are okay to run. So we're gonna be going to some tattoo conventions, which is exciting. And then I just have like a list of things that I want on my body, like a tattoo for Penny specifically, because you guys know how much I love Penny and I need to like remember her in some sort of way on my body. Um, and then I also want one to represent that I'm a Sagittarius. I just, I love horoscopes and stuff like that. So I love that idea. And then I don't know what else. Um, I was tempted to get an Animal Crossing tattoo, but that might be a little much. <laughs> um, and honestly, I just love putting tattoos on my body that just look pretty. So in the future, I might get like a whole um, tattoo on my thigh, which I think would be really cool. I want like a quote on my thigh and just a bunch of things. So definitely prepare for more tattoo related vlogs and stuff in the future. But for now, we're not really able to get tattoos super easily here in Canada. So, and then last question I wanted to answer for today is from Shannon and she asked, have you and Francis ever thought about making a second channel dedicated to board game play thoughts? which we really wanted to start doing board game kind of content on here together, but I think it would be better to do like a solely board game based YouTube channel with the two of us. I think that'd be really good. So yeah, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in that sort of thing. If you would actually subscribe to a channel where Francis and I just like talked about board games all the time. We could even do like board game playthroughs, which would be a lot of fun. So let me know down below if you guys think that would be a good idea. But anyways, um, that's going to be everything for this vlog. I don't actually know what I'm going to be filming in this current day. I don't know if there's going to be a vlog tomorrow. So just keep an eye open for one. But if there's not one, I'm really sorry. I'm just really struggling with the pain in my mouth and I just, I'm going to be packaging orders all day and then I'm doing a live stream tonight. So I'm just really struggling with trying to think of something to film. Um, literally if I filmed, it would just be one big time lapse of me packaging and then one big time lapse of me live streaming. Don't know if that would be super interesting. So yes. Uh, anyways, I love you guys so much. Be sure to leave your questions down below for I guess the next vlog, which might be today or the next day. Um, and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have yet to do so. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys. First one is, is damage to your You don't have enough knife on you, do you? Little pen knife? Oh, he has one.